Well, it looks like it's finally time for me to do something useful with my gear hobby machine. I was able to find a Van Norman dividing head and the important parts of a Van Norman lead box online, uh, but I didn't get any gears with it. Uh, none of the change gears, the, a couple of the idlers came with it, but a lot of the associated hardware. So uh, this video is about uh, making a set of change gears for a Van Norman lead box. Well, as far as I know, the Van Norman system only came with one lead box. Uh, there was no low lead box like the k and machines have, but uh, they have a pretty extensive lead table uh, that you can get to with only 10 gears. And if I need anything else, anything other than that, I can probably figure out how to make it. So this is really going to be um, what I would consider to be a first real gear making project uh, in and of itself. This is the lead table that I found on vintagemachinery.org and I was able to glean the, the gear count, the tooth count for the 10 gears that I need to make. This is the first time I've used this Kalamazoo 9x20 uh, bandsaw that I got as a Facebook marketplace deal. I did a little bit of tweaking and tuning on this. I put a new blade on it, added a coolant system, and just kind of cleaned it up and tuned it up a little bit. And once I got it going and kind of tweaked, uh, it's just an absolute metal-eating machine. I wish I'd had this a long time ago because it just makes a non-event out of cutting uh, big pieces of steel. This is a seven and a half inch steel round, an 8620 that's going to be a, I think it's a hundred tooth uh, change gear. be a few thousand small.
This will be a 64 tooth gear and 14 DP in about an hour. See you then. Now consulting my well-loved change gear table, we're gonna make 64. That's a 44 over 40 on the differential loop with the rotation reversed, so with an extra idler. I need to make a 28 the next time around, and that'll be a 48 over 40 without the idler. Probably should put this on the computer or something. I left the sound turned on for the next few videos just so you can hear how, so the how irritating the gear. noise of gear hopping can really be, uh, especially with large, thin gears where you get a lot of ringing. Chirpy. It's basically the, uh, the disc of the gear uh, ringing. So it doesn't really seem to affect the quality very much, but it's irritating as hell, I have to say. It takes forever, too. It's a hundred tooth gear, so it's a hundred revs of the spindle for every rev of the bike. The spindle's running at about 100 RPM. So that's one, one rev of the blank. And 6,000 feet per rev, so I'm not sure I can do the math in my head, but it's going to take a while. This is the last of the 10 change gears that I needed to make for the Van Norman Green Box. Uh, this one's 24 teeth. It's a dinky little thing. So far, so good. I had one go at uh, Extreme Profiles. So trying to cram 28 teeth onto a 24 tooth blank. It did not end well. Well, that's my stack of gears for the lead box project and uh, this went pretty well this only took me a couple of days to knock these out we're getting close to finished not bad i just have to make a couple of nuts to fit this thread they're both the same so i can just make it out of a piece of tube or something i should be ready to rock and roll Well, I think the lead box project for the Van Norman Mill is done. Um, finished the set of change gears. There's 10 of them all together, plus a couple of idlers. And uh, let's fire it up and show how it works.
and for really short bleeds. You put the, the crank on it here and control it by hand. Well, that's the Van Norman lead box project complete and, uh, and ready to do something with. Uh, more on that later. Thanks for watching.